Okay, so here what I'm uh, wanting to show you. Um, I've had a lot of people asking about um, ESCs and stuff like that with the dual motors and stuff. Okay, currently right now I have this. This is set up originally. I got the the 540 motors in here. Um, you can see from the back end here. Um, I got two 540 motors, which um, I'm running like tank steering. Okay, um, my wiring's a real mess right in here right now, um, but I'm rebuilding it. So basically, what I want to show um, what I've done. Okay, so currently, whoops, currently um, I have it set up via tank steering. I guess I never shut the power off. So uh, I'm using a, I think I need to zoom out just, just a little bit on this so I can see a little better. There, I'm hoping you can still see it. When we get uh, close up, but I'll try. Okay, um, so I, I'm, use, I'm running and uh, currently right now a DX6 remote. Now this is an old remote, like this thing's over, I don't know, 10, 15 years old, but it is the DX6i robotic one. So it's already got the self-centering joystick on both sides. Um, I bought a new one, a Fly Sky. Uh, I haven't, I bought the self-centering kit, which I haven't done yet. So, but it, it works the same way. This remote really doesn't do much channel mixing, very little. If I'm running two ESCs, I cannot do the mixing to make tank steering with this remote, okay? So that's why I went with, um, and I'll show that actually just a minute. I went with a different uh, a bi-directional ESC, cheap, I think it was 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Uh, it'll handle up to 40 amps. I have not had a problem with this yet. So just to show you guys, if I push up, it goes forward, back. Okay, let me just go here so I have a little more room here. You can see my thumb going forward. Uh, I have a little slippage on my, my thing. Now if I push to the one side, this track is going forward and this track is going backwards. And then I push to the other side, okay? So that's your tank steering. Um, here, let me see, let me move some of this stuff here. I'm doing this at work, so I have a bunch of stuff on my desk here. So, yeah. And now I do have a little belt slippage, and that's kind of why I'm, I, I will be switching to my other, uh, the other motors. Okay, I, I printed everything out and I ordered some parts, I'm getting there. So now on, on the bucket, I've done the same thing. I just bought some really cheap 5 amp um, bi-directionals, except I, I don't have it in the tank steering mode, it's just in regular mode, so it's really two in one um, ESCs, so I can run the two motors. So what I've done is I've, um, again, I've up and down, we'll move the, raise the bucket up and down. I got a, the wiring I got to push in there okay and then I, I the tilt I put side to side and they're run with a couple little cheap I think they were like six or seven dollars so, okay I buy all myself of Aliexpress so that's where my stuff comes from so um, now I, I don't have the quick release on here yet I printed it all it's ready to go I'm taking this whole thing apart I'm probably going to have to re I want to reprint a couple of the the parts in here because I have a, a lot better quality printer than I did when I printed this originally so I want to kind of make it look a little bit better um, I never put glass near I'm not going to um, I ended up in the back creating my own window that was not part of it originally um, so anyway that's that so and oh and I also reprinted the more aggressive track um, so change that even though I may even print it again because I ended up buying because this is TPU 95A I, I went and ordered some 85A so 
Um, I'm going to print. I'm hoping to do that. I also have done the snow blower. So once I get the quick release done, this wire here is actually for the quick release. So I'm, I'm going to have to once I take it apart, I'm going to run it down here and tie wrap it, and it's going to go down to the um, either one of the sides. And it'll go down to there. So anyway, let's let's get back. So here's oh here's my lighting. So I, I do have um, lights on here. Um, so here is my lights. So I don't know if you you see the lights come on and off. And actually, I even have the, the tail lights working too. Uh, not the greatest, but it works. So now again, I'm going to convert all that over. Um, now the, the 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 one nice thing with the Fly Sky one, it actually has up top here. It has two knobs that you can control actually speed with it, and so that's when I'm going to control the direction on the snowblower for to move the I don't know the chute side to side, and I think the other one I'm probably going to control the speed of the the motor. Okay, um, I printed that and I've tested it and it's kind of running rough, so I got to do a little tweaking on it and stuff like that. So. Anyway, back to this. Um, again, I got to clean up the the wiring. So this is and it's going to be hard to see, but this is the speed controller that I'm using right here. And I've sent links online for you guys. Um, now, if if you look on here, well, it's going to get rough shape. I'm going to have to maybe put some shrink wrap and clean that up a little bit. Um, there, there is a wow. Well, it's really tangled up in here. Um, if you look on on here on my on my receiver here, there's a yellow a yellow wire here that has a single pin that comes off of here. Okay, because your signal from your ESC to your um, or from your transmitter to your to the receiver to here only needs one signal to run it. The other two, the black and the, the white and black or the black and red, depending on which ones you have, um, they're just for power. So you don't want to plug two powers in here. So you don't want to have power um, coming from your motors twice. So that's why, it's, that's why there's the one only has one pin. Okay, now I also have, which I, I can't, I'm not sure where they're ended up. Um, here and here, this one, I don't know if you can see this one. I know it's hard to see with this wire in here. This is the same thing, but it's it's the 5 volt one, or the 5 amp one. So that's what's running the linear actuators, okay? But on this guy here, there is a setting on here. can't remember exactly where it is, but you have to flip a switch. It's on one of the sides, and it's it's for the tank to turn the tank steer. So you can run this two separate motors with two different joysticks, and both run forward back, and you can run it like that. So you can drive it using this. This will be one motor in this. So if you want to go forward, you have to push both joysticks. If you want to go back, you push both back. If you want to turn, you push one up and one down. I don't like that. I wanted a one steering because then that makes it harder to drive. The, the other thing, so uh, the, the other part. So um, now this is 40 amp times two, so like each motor can be 40. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I cannot recall where that switch is on here, um, where you can flip the bi-directional, um, so it can be either or. And and I know the little one. The little one has the same thing too. I know the little one on this one. I put a piece of black tape around it here. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm hoping you can. Um, I put a piece of black tape around here because the switch is right here, so you can turn it on and off. And again, so you can run your motors independently or not. Okay. Um, but this one, to be honest, man, I'm. I just can't remember how I did this. So again, I'm ripping this all apart, rewiring it all. I just threw this together so I can test it, and then I played with it, and then I never really did much with it after that. So, but anyway, a few people were asking about 
the motor controllers. If you have a fancy enough remote or a new enough remote that does the um, mixing within the within the transmitter, yeah, you can do that. It's I think it's more difficult because I didn't have to do any program with this. I plugged them. The only thing that I had to do is I is test the directions of the motor. Um, so you got to be a little bit careful. I think on mine I had a reverse of polarity on one. Being that they're just cheap DC motors and they're brushed motors, you can just flip the polarity. Want to go forward and want to go backwards. So not a big deal. Okay. So uh, that's kind of what I've done. So hopefully that helps.